Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. Before we get into metal, I've got to tell you, this video is sponsored by me. Was that animated enough? You're an idiot. Okay, if you head over to my store on bonfire.com, you can check out some limited edition merch, which is going to come up right now. So these are on a trial run. Uh, we got some nice tees like this one, which is uh, peace. The peace sign for peace until next time. Uh, the Hutch Club on the titty, and on the back it will say till next time. So you get the idea. Peace till next time. If you hate unicorns as much as I do, uh, then this is for you. Um, has the same logo on both sides. Uh, with my YouTube handle on there, of course, for shameless plugging. Um, also, we have a baseball cap. Same kind of idea. The Hutch Club. Every Thursday night, 7pm GMT, where we write songs and talk about other guitar nonsense. And it is peace. Till next time. And we also have, from the jingle at the end, dig my vibe, hit subscribe, Tees. Uh, now the sizes do vary up to 4XL on selected colours. Not only will you be one of the coolest kids on the block, you'll be supporting this channel and I really appreciate it. Yeah, buy a t-shirt. Links in the description, of course. Now, moving on to the Harley Benton DNA FX GIT. Um, we've been doing quite well. There's quite a few videos in the series now. I suggest you go and check them out from the unboxing to looking at the amps and the cabs and the software and everything else. We've been doing a poll between videos and you've been deciding what we look at next. And the last poll I did, I was horrified. Here is the last poll I did. And as you can see, um, I put this in here because I think I'm funny and this has been voted in this has been voted in freddy is gonna have his own show no god please no no yeah it's about bloody time and don't all don't get your hopes up freddy you're gonna do it on a trial okay okay then as the last poll was a bit of a bust, I'm going to see if this thing can metal. This was asked by somebody in the comments, actually a few people in the comments. Um, so we're going to dive in and see what it can do. Now I don't know much about metal, I'm more of a bluesy kind of guy, but um, I have done some extensive research. Alright, this isn't going great, is it? Um, so this is what we're going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tune the guitar to a D tuning, so I'm going to tune the E string down to a D string because I think that will give it a bit more of a metally kind of vibe. I'm the not, sustain, listen to it. I'm not hearing anything. I'm using my Harley Benton uh, Black Paisley Strat on the humbucker. So I did some googling and uh, one of the recommended amps was the PV5150, uh, the EVH, Eddie Van Halen. Um, like I say, I don't know. Tell me in the comments if there's any better amps I could look at, but we maybe look at a couple in this. But I'm going to start off with this one. Uh, so let's head on over to the software. Okay, so here we are on the software. This one here is the uh, PV5150. It's called PV5050DS, which is a distorted one. So we're going to click on that amp there. And uh, it sounds like this. Nasty, but we haven't got a cab on it, so we have to put a cab on it as well, and it automatically comes up with the 4x12. Uh, we'll go with that, we'll go with the 4x12. Why not? Oh, just click him on, and it sounds like this. Alright, so from what I found out through my extensive research <laughs> uh, what I'm outraged by what you've just said is that um, as far as the uh, EQ goes on these amps uh, for your metal tone um, this is pretty much set as uh, people would normally have it so the bass is you know kind of in the in the middle there the mids are scooped a little bit trebles up a bit and presence is up a bit um, that's my phone if you can hear it and what I've what I've found out is the gain gain usually gets pushed really hard. Um, 
obviously we've got some noise issues now so I'm going to stick a noise gate on there because that's just annoying there we go that's much better um, so with that in mind it should sound a bit more lots and lots and lots of gain obviously you can adjust it to whatever you want um, I personally would probably scoop the mids off but that's me but we'll we'll put it we'll leave it with a bit on around about there I think it was so yeah, obviously we have some other things on here we've got some EQ but I won't touch that at the moment um, we'll go over to the compressor uh, we can choose wah of course or we can add a compressor on there so let's put some compression on it see what that does Yeah, not a lot really. You can't really because there's so much gain going on that it's it's highly compressed already. But anyway, just keeping this a bit simple, uh, we'll add a bit of reverb, a bit of plate reverb. I think that would be nice, but not that much. <laughs> yeah, so basically, we've just uh, kind of mimicked an amp setup. So as you can probably tell, my metal playing sucks. So let's look at another amp. Uh, my research team <laughs> tells me that the Mesa Boogie Mark V is a popular amp for metalists. Uh, so we've got one here, which is the Mark VDS. Uh, and the cab. It's gone with the 1x12 Mark 1x12. I think that's cool. It's cool how it picks the cab. I like that. It goes with the amp. So there's no guesswork there. Yeah, we've got the same kind of EQ settings. Yeah, that's uh, sweet. Pretty cool. Let's chuck a little bit of Reeves on there. Now, back in my younger days, <laughs> I was in quite a heavy rock band, borderline metal, I would say, but more heavy rock. And I used to have a JCM 900, and there's one right here. And this is how I used to set it. Gain up 100 force. I used to whop the bass up as well, quite high. Maybe 100, maybe around about 80 to 100. Put it in 90. Mids I used to scoop off. Treble would be up. It didn't have a presence on it, but we'll just leave that as is. Uh, it's gone for a 4x12, but mine was a 1x12, but let's go with this. And we uh, never detuned, so back to standard uh, tuning. Uh, this is a riff from said band. <laughs> Yeah, and that was the sound. So, uh, it, yeah, replicates it quite well, I think. So, there you go. There are some examples of some metal-type tones from the Harley Benton DNA FXGIT. As I said, I'm not really a metaler, but hopefully that gave you an idea that it can metal. So, if you like this kind of video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out in a big way. We're going for 4,000 subs by the end of this month, which is September. And by the end of the year, we're going for 5,000. Come and join us in the Discord, uh, where there's lots of people like us that talk about gear and stuff and nonsense. Buy some t-shirts and a mug and a hat as well. That will also help me. Thank you very much. So, on that note, there's not much more to say. I know words. I have the best words. Except... Peace till next time. So it's bye from me. It's bye from him. Wait. Cue the jingle. One, two, three.
Oh, if you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. Peace. Till next time.